<laughs> I'm 26. It's my birthday. I was born just like how you were born, but I'm different because I'm weird and I talk to flaccid balls. Let's dive on into how people are tired of Mystic Mind. You're trying to ban it from your OTS store? What you doing? Let's dive on into it, shall we? Destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of your undies on that subscribe button <laughs> so that we can get to 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we at 963. Only 37 more, my ladies and gentlemen. So smash it so we can get there. Ladies and gentlemen, have that be my good old 26th birthday present. I would very, very much appreciate it. Yes, we're 26 years old as of 7.15 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So in about, uh, what, 30 minutes or so? It's 6.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. I will be born into this world, and I'll be 26 years old and still dealing with uh, bitches in life. You know how that is. Yeah, you know. You know. Maybe, maybe you don't know. But either way, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Life is great. And we are so close to a thousand subscribers. So I wanted to talk about something in my comment section that I saw a little bit ago that I think needs to be discussed. And I'm not going to go through like all the comments and stuff because we'll be here all day. They are a bit long. And this isn't me like trying to make fun of anybody. It's more the discussion as a whole. So for those of you who have maybe been living under a rock or maybe you've just been taking a break from Yu-Gi-Oh, we got a brand new band list. And guess what happened? Mystic Mind didn't get fucking touched. It just it just sat there just drinking its drink at the bar, just thinking, okay, where's someone to come on over and shoot me in the back of the head? And Konami's like, nah, not today. You keep doing you, boo-boo. And it just walked on down the line and shot Fairy Tail Snow in the head twice. <laughs> so... A misty mind just like, all right, I'm going to just go ahead and come on back on in the point. We're just like, come on in. As, uh, what is his name? Uh, 427 Thunder, 420 Thunder, whatever in the Call of Duty community you say. He's like, come on in. So Misty Mind's like, I'm going to come on in and fuck your shit up. And that's what it's doing. So in that banless video, the point of all that, is that one of my subscribers was like, well, look, my community, his, this is him talking, she, whatever. I'm, I'm, we, don't, we don't judge on out here. <laughs> Uh, they said, look, I'm going to go to my OTS store and say, we need to ban Mystic Mind. Now, this is something that we saw in the OCG when Mystic Mind was becoming a big issue, that there were literally OTS stores like slapping a note on their front door saying that Mystic Mind is not allowed to be played at our locals. Now, if you have not seen my big difference between OCG and TCG video, I highly recommend that you go watch that because there's a really big reason why they do it. And I go into in-depth in that video as to why, but the TLDR of it is that, you know, OCG is mostly like Asian countries, right? We're talking like the country Asia, Japan, China, Korea, you know, places like that. Those Asian countries have a, I guess, a mutual understanding that you are honorable, right? Like there are certain things that you don't do because you don't want to bring dishonor on yourself or your family, or as they say, Mulan, your cow, <laughs> um, they are very much based on a honor system. So you don't see decks like Eldritch in like, let's say Japan very often, even though they're like basically at full power because there's that honor system. They don't see it as honorable. You know, like there was a guy that I met at a, a regional in Georgia actually, who uh, is in the military. And for a time he was uh, stationed over in, I believe he said Korea, where he was playing Eldritch. And one of the translators he was with that was there said that the players are getting pissed off at you because they're seeing you as dishonorable because you're playing a deck like Eldritch. So the Asian community, specifically in Japan, saw Mystic Mine as a dishonorable card and it started becoming an issue. And they said, Mystic Mine is banned in our OTS stores. The thing is, though, is that I really don't feel like we're ever going to see something like that in the TCG, no matter how terrible of a card Mystic Mind becomes, because at the end of the day, it's a legal card to play. And it actually brings up an interesting discussion that uh, <laughs> that came up with a, a fellow player that I have mentioned in a Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective, specifically Edison format. I love that player. I'm really cool with him. You know, it is what it is. But they got pissed off that I was playing self-destruct button. <laughs> <laughs>
And basically what had happened was that this was years ago, but self-destruct button was at three, right? And uh, we were playing at locals and I had topped with my self-destruct button, you know, go into time, gain life points deck. Um, and basically the, the store owner was like, well, the official rule said that you get a one hour time limit in the top. So we're like, okay, well, we're going to play an hour. And I'm like, so-and-so, I can't beat you. I'm just going to give you the win. I didn't even expect a top, you know, because I'm not going to be able to stall you out for an hour going game after game, activating self-destruct button. And they're like, well, let me just play and see how many games it takes for me to win. I'm like, all right, you know, fine, whatever. It's, it, it's early. And so we went to like five games of me self-destruct buttoning him until he finally went end phase dust tornado, hit your self-destruct button. Um, and then what happened the next day actually was that a mutual friend of ours calls me and he goes, dude, like, what did you do to piss off blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, he called me last night, cussing me out saying Avery's playing this bullshit deck and blah, 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 blah. And even there at locals, like he was kind of showing his ass a little bit because he's like, you know, why, why are you playing this deck? Da, da, da. And my dad actually steps in and goes, the cards are legal, right? And he's like, well, yeah, but you shouldn't be playing this deck. My dad's like, it doesn't matter. It's legal. And it's like, yeah, bitch, it's legal. So the TCG community, they have a different view on Mystic Mind. Whether you're on the side of it should be banned or whether you're on the side of it's healthy for the game, there's going to be that skew. It's the same way with Max C. You're going to have that skew of people that think it's good for the game and not good for the game, right? And I just don't ever see the TCG, any storefront really, taking on that idea of, or subscribing to that idea of, we are going to ban a specific card for a specific card game because like, that's just idiotic. You know, if you're a OTS store owner and you want to support not just Yu-Gi-Oh, but Magic, Dragon Ball, you know, all these other games, Cardfight Vanguard, why are you going to pinpoint out one card game and ban one specific card for that one card game? Because number one, what's going to happen is that the community of that particular card game, in this case, Yu-Gi-Oh, they're going to say, well, fuck you. I'm not coming to your store anymore. You're going to lose players. You're going to lose sales. And then who's to say that those players won't start talking a bunch of smack because you know people are going to fucking talk. And then people of other card games are going to be like, well, if they're going to do that for Yu-Gi-Oh, they may do that for my game. Fuck you. I'm leaving. Like, who's to say like that they won't do that, right? And so as a store owner, it's just really bad optics. You know, you're not in a country like China where you can do something like that and people are going to be honorable and not play Mystic Mine. And so it's, it's a really big gray area that I think it's just not going to happen because of the simple fact that it's just bad optics. It's bad business. If I was running a, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh store, you know, a card shop, whatever, and people were telling me you need to ban Mystic Mind. I'd be like, fuck that. I don't care. It's going to hurt my sales. I don't give a shit. Like, you play whatever kind of degenerate ass cards you want. As long as you're not making a fight in my store, who gives a shit? Play all the Mystic bullshit you want. You know, like, it's not going to matter to me as the store owner. What matters to me is if I'm getting fucked by my distributor or Konami themselves. That's what I'm more concerned about. I could care less about the format itself. You know, you want to get those sales in. And so... As unfortunate as it is to have Mystic Mine in the format, I understand where people are coming from that they want it banned at their OTS store or just banned in general. However, someone did make a reply to that particular uh, subscriber, I think it was another subscriber, that said, why would you want to lock yourself into what is essentially a fake format at your OTS store? Then if you try to go to a big event like a regional or something, you're just not prepared because you've been playing in this make-believe format. You know, that's why I'm really against like a lot of these custom-made formats from players because, you know, I've said it in, in the past, like there's a reason why Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't work for Konami R&D because the players think they know what's best for the game when at the end of the day, Konami knows what they're going to release a year down the road, most likely. So they can plan better for things that should or should not be on the ban list. You know, even though like people got pissed off at me about my, I believe it's JCD, I want to make sure I get it right this time, Godot video where I talked about this uh, format that he had made, this custom format. You know, I made that video because at the end of the day, no format is perfect. Whether you're a expert Yu-Gi-Oh player or a beginner Yu-Gi-Oh player, or R&D for Konami, there is no format that's absolutely perfect because everybody has an opinion like everybody has an asshole. Like, some people think the Invoke cards are still broken. Like, to this day, and I'm like, the fuck? Like, Invoke does nothing. Like, why Why is your anus not relaxed about those cards? <laughs> like, the issues are Tier Elements and Sprite. Why are you giving a shit about Invoked or Flunder? So, 
you know, at the end of the day, is Mystic Mind a problem? In my humble opinion, yes. Even though I've got a video with over 13,000 views of the YCS Brazil Mystic Mind video, <laughs> the, the deck profile. At the end of the day, though, it, it doesn't make for good gameplay, in my humble opinion. But I see both sides of the coin. I see where people like it, and I see where people don't like it. With that being said, I'm testing Runic, and I'm playing three Mystic Mind. You gotta play broken cards if you want to win. <laughs> So, guys, please let me know down in the comments what you think about all this. Do you, has your OTS store banned Mystic Mine? Do you know of any stores that have banned cards besides Mystic Mine? Let me know all that and more down in the comments below. Thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. Happy birthday to me. If you care to make a comment like that, you don't have to if you don't want to. What you can do is like the video and hit that subscribe button. That's all the support and love I need. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.